Sometimes we have numbers which increase and other times decrease. We can measure this increase or decrease using a percentage. This is called a percent increase or a percent decrease. Let's use this problem as an example so we can show you how to find the percent increase of a given number. It says if there were 500 cases of the flu last year at a local clinic and 550 this year, what was the percent increase of flu cases from last year to this year? Well, right in the problem, they ask us for a percent increase, so we know that's what we have to find. But you must be careful here. A lot of people would instantly take 500 and 550 and form a fraction and then change that into a percent. But the key word here is the increase. We know that from one year to the next, there was an increase of 50 cases of the flu. So when we set up our problem to find the percent increase, our numerator is the difference from one year to the next year. In this case, it's 50. For the denominator, we must use the original amount because when we find the percent increase, we're finding out how much it actually went up as compared to the original amount. Now that we have a fraction, 50 over 500, there is a couple of options that we have here. We know that a percentage is out of 100. And in this case, it is very simple to reduce the number 500 to the denominator of 100. And to do this, we would simply reduce by a factor of 5. Doing the same thing to the top, 50 divided by 5 would give us 10. And we should know that 10 out of 100 is equal to 10%. Now let's say you did not have a fraction which can be reduced or increased to the number 100. Then you would simply convert the fraction into a decimal by taking the numerator and dividing it by the denominator. After changing 50 divided by 500 into a decimal, we see that our answer is 1 tenth. But because a percentage is out of 100, we must add an extra zero so we can read our value to the hundreds place. Then we take the decimal and we move it two spaces to the right, drop the decimal and add a percent sign. And we can see that one tenth is the same thing as 10%. So remember, when finding the percent increase of a number, you must first find the difference of the first number as compared to the next number and take that difference and divide it by the original amount.